Good afternoon, free Enterprise fans, and welcome to the Adamant Cup. I am Neon Gray. With me in the booth here is Alice L, and we're here to watch uh, BG Rich 419 uh, face off against Lady Id 19. It is the battle of the 19s here. What do you think about that, Ellie? Um, I think this is great. Um, we've got a Rydia start, um, we've got some fun objectives, and we've got some great people here to watch. Yeah, uh, let's take a look at our objectives. This is our first time seeing these as well, I think. We've got Sand Ruby. Very nice, just, uh, know you're gonna have to make a check at a gated character. Sealed Cave, uh, Return the Pan, uh, Conquer the Vanilla Ribbon Room, and the Marissa Bay Altar. Uh, so we are gonna have to go to the moon, that's pretty normal on these flags. We've got to launch the Falcon, which is a one of those objectives that I think really gets people a lot, uh, if, uh, if it's not a hook seed, and trade away the pigtail. So we will be seeing Adam and Darmer, no matter what happens in this seed. And that is so fitting, seeing as how this is the Adamant Cup, um, where Adamant Armors are allowed for the first time since ZZ1. Yeah, and it is really interesting to see just how that impacts uh, play here. I, you know, uh, it's you, you see it and you go, oh, I understand why this hasn't been allowed in tournaments. But it's, it's very fun to have one where it does come into play and people have to consider how such a powerful item will uh, factor into their strategies. Absolutely. And looking at these objectives, I believe we need a total of seven key items to complete all of them. That is a really low count for this uh, for this flag set, which uh, it requires has seven objectives. Requires you do all seven. It is written by design to have uh, to be. It's intended to be a full completion flag set or near to it. Um, it's really common to end up at like say fifteen to seventeen uh, checks. Uh, for only needing seven, we could theoretically end on the lower end of the scale here. Absolutely. Uh, or those um, items could be hidden away in terrible chains. I mean, we do have the vanilla ribbon room that could have something nasty. Yes, and of course, the best of all worlds for us as viewers is for, say, the vanilla ribbon room to have a nasty boss and have nothing inside of it. But I do believe our runners are about to be off. We'll see who is going to join this Rydia. Yeah, uh, you, we're hoping for a carry. Um, that's not a carry. And that's an orb and not a key item. That's an illusion. Um, the illusion might be more useful uh, than half the party right now. That's awful generous to uh, this party. Yeah, it's... I, I, I think we're going to see Mount Hobbs very quickly here. Uh, absolutely looking for literally anything that makes this party a little bit stronger. Yeah, um, both of these characters are great with ramp time, but at the start, they are exceptionally weak. Lady Id going to check our free key item, uh, because in addition to being full key, uh, full completion intended, it's also no boss hunts whatsoever. We get a free key item from Eddie. And thankfully, both of our runners remembering this and picking up what is a required key item in that Luca key. Yeah, um, which is good to have. It's absolutely no use right now. And it looks like uh, BG Rich gonna do a little mini um, treasury. Uh, finding a Star Veil, I mean, it's better than money. 
Yeah, I mean, we are seeing this check a fair bit the, on this fight, so just because people are in the castle already, and there's a good cluster here. I've got a crystal armor in there, that's gonna be some good, uh, some good money selling that, and there is a dancing dagger, so we have a means of killing. Well, and another uh, cheeky little item that we picked up was an exit, and speaking of cheeky, that is a heroine robe on Lady Id's side. Yes, uh, I assume she's going to immediately go back for that thing. Absolutely. If you can find a bow and arrows or a dragon whip, uh, Rydia can hit things for a little bit. Like, honestly, um, this early in the game in a heroine robe, any sort of whip will do. Um, or that elven bow is an excellent find. And BG Rich picking up a Sylph Summon. Um, Sylph is one of those great spells. Once you have 25 MP, as long as Rydia is not in the middle, uh, she can cast it with zero cost. Yeah, and like I said about the cash for that crystal arbor, immediately selling that, putting it to work for him. A uh, great, uh, great choice there. And we do see an elven bow uh, picked up by Lady Id. That is a great item, um, as Tibalt in chat points out, if we can find some arrows, uh, those mad ogres will fall very quickly. Yeah, uh, so we are hoping that there are arrows in one of these other free chests, because now is really the time to take to just exploit being able to take those ogres even this early. And an hourglass, too. Dragon Whip, uh, we're good. Masura, Stardust, we have options here. That is a very nice uh, Evelyn dive. Uh, those are all great things to find. Um, we'll see if Lady Id wants a little bit more, or nope, gonna head out deciding that's enough for me. Yeah, I believe she's cleared out all of the uh, untrapped chests and just leaving which, uh, perfect sense, uh, she's got what she needs now to, uh... Oh, and a power staff, too, on that? With that heroine robe, that is actually fantastic. But we're doing a Stardust, uh, we're just gonna use that as an item. Centering her, so we're gonna be pacing the game at, uh, pacing these fight, this fight up here. Uh, to Rydia's grossly inflated speed, this should be quick no matter what it is. And BG Rich is uh, raising. That's an edge. <laughs> That's um, a nice find. Uh, BG Rich did do the required uh, get the hovercraft since we do have to turn in that pink tail. But Lady Id finding an edge here. Um, edge is good. We like that. Yeah, only equipped with a short sword to start, but honestly, as far as edge starts go with the Sea Decky flag, that's actually pretty good for him. It's half what he starts weapon wise with in vanilla, and you know what? He is able to hit things with that uh, on the overworld. That's good enough. Uh, he can start with a charm claw. You do not want it to start with a charm claw. And BG Rich, right behind, gonna find that edge. Um, and I'm sure be very happy because uh, the rest of the team is not that great or can get hit very hard. Yeah, and that's another thing that's easy to uh, overlook. Uh, you know, Edge Edge's early game has been weakened by C. Necky. Um It's possible to roll high and get some good stuff for him. But even if you don't, even if you just got a short sword with him, he starts with nearly 800 hit points. Um, so that alone is just fantastic uh, for these early checks. And I did see right before uh, BG Rich went into Hobbs, picked up a Leviathan summon. Um, that just kind of trivializes um, most of the early game. Yeah, you just have to get 50 MP on, on Rydia to cast it, and it will one-shot uh, basically any fight you're going get to get her into before she needs to be able to have 100 MP to cast it twice. And there we very quickly saw the Magus sisters uh, use that Stardust Rod as an item, and picking up a Magma Key. Oh, I love, I love when we get a Magma Key and we've got to launch the Falcon requirement. 
Yep, because you know that hook's gonna be somewhere hidden. It's gonna be somewhere hidden, or it's gonna be somewhere early, and then it's looming. And people will... I, I, you know, you are... Even just a couple days into the tournament, uh, you, you can see people who, you know, will gamble on going early and just get bitten hard when it's, it's there for you to do late. Well, and chat pointing out, uh, with that Rydia now having underground access, if we could find a dragon whip and some sirens, um, that grind is free. Yeah, uh, Lydia did pull a dragon whip out of Evelyn Castle, as we can see right here. Uh, so we just are hoping for sirens in the three gated shops underground. And BG Rich is actually going ahead and looting Antlion, um, not going to get that one singular chest in a room because it's really not worth it. Um, but does find a little bit of defensive gear for that edge. Yeah, uh, looting on the go makes sense here if you're not doing the Evelyn play. Because, uh, you, you know, with that edge, you want gear. The other two will be fine with levels. Uh, but you're going to need to get through this fight. And you've got edge now. But Lady Id will be our first runner underground here at 8 minutes. You love to see it. Yeah, and this uh, does mean, and it does mean for BG Rich as well, um, that with this magma key, we can cut down our number of trips to Fabul by at least one. Because we can, even if we don't find a pan easily here, we can do the first Sheila check without, uh, without having gone to the bull first. Oh dear, um... Oh, uh, Sandy, no. Does manage to hit himself, so thankfully, uh... Thankfully takes out Sandy, but that could have been really messy. Yeah. I, uh... I wonder if leaving Rydia down there, because didn't he buy all the... All those spells there for for Rydia? Yeah, but maybe is thinking it's not worth fighting 30 HP for a fight that doesn't really give enough to be worth it. Yeah, that's a fair cop. And oh, cabins, 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 my love. Uh, I don't see them enough on this flag set, and that's a me problem. Um, I. Don't shop. I, I probably don't shop enough, which is weird to say, but I just don't go into shops that aren't gated, and that means I hardly ever see cabins. And we do find a strength ring here in the Fey March, as well as another short sword. It's uh, uh, better than a dancing dagger. Yeah, and the free chest did just contain a moon veil, and we say just, but that can be very important uh, in some circumstances. Like, if this is Waterhead, that will win the Waterhead. That is not Waterhead. That is a conjurer. That I don't like them. No, uh, but she is. She's not opting to take the Bahamut right now. Um. I'm not sure how many star veils she has to hand. I have not kept an eye out for that. Um, Bahamut at Leviathan is quite free if you have star veils. But it's also not worth wasting that moon veil on, because the moon veil will, of course, have, um, will also give you the advantage of being immune to physical damage, uh, or the attack command, really. Uh, for the uh, rest of the fight, pretty much. And Bahamut, don't hit you. Yeah, um, there are much better, much scarier bosses and much worse locations that you could use that Moon Veil. Yeah, but uh, for me, um, I see I see a Bahamut at, uh, at Leviathan, I take a Bahamut at Leviathan. And BG Rich, uh, Looting the chest down here, um, found an elixir. I've had more than one elixir uh, save me in a really nasty Z fight, but didn't hit the warrior's chest and has decided I don't want to gamble anymore. 
Yeah, yeah, that's uh yeah, that that's a decent uh choice for uh for looting Fey March chests. Um you take the you take the first floor's chests, the or the top two if you're feeling saucy. And if you don't find the warriors, uh you just ignore the bottom layer. But I'm such a loot goblin. I wanna open all the chests. I know, and I too want to open all the chests. And I lose bracelets. <laughs> See, the real play is to not race. That's the galaxy brain play right there. But BG Rich also finding cabins, finding exits. Um, exits are great, especially if you somehow get to the lower lunar subterrain and don't have a white mage to cast it. Or a Cecil. Uh, you, you always hope to have an exit uh, when you're there, uh, but sometimes you don't. And Lady Id gonna go ahead and turn in Sheila 1 and do the Fabul defense. Um, whereas BG Rich gonna get that uh, uh, bad news. Fabul. Yeah, the, the Fabul gauntlet and the Fabul defense. And, uh, yeah, uh, oh, yeah, we're just, uh, I, I, I assume she's just gonna take the Sheila one check, and, um, the bull will be fine, right? There's just a really powerful, really attractive Lunarian sorcerer attacking. They'll be fine. Was it Golbez? I was actually looking away. Yes, yes it was. And I did not catch what she gave. The spoon! Thank you, Scala. I'm being yelled at by a cat. I'll tell that cat that I love them. She chirped at me. Good girl. Yeah, so with a spoon in hand, uh, we are and uh, lousy weapons for Edge, and uh, two noodle arm people. Here we are wondering, where is Edward so we can finally do some DPS? I hope he's at the top of the giant. Yeah, because you don't like Edward. <sighs> yeah, it's a personal preference. Speaking of personal preferences. There's your cane. Oh, my boy. And I don't know that we've really found anything for him either. No, he does nothing for this party. Absolutely nothing. <laughs> and we have Ashura here, um, thankfully in the first location. Could be very nasty if she was in the second location here. But quite simple to deal with there, and some men are a myelin. It is myelin zombie. And this flame actually going to come in handy here from Edge. I'm going to do a little bit of extra damage since Mylon is weak to fire. Yeah, uh, that will help a lot because otherwise, you know, we're kind of in a position to sort of struggle with bringing the pain to uh, the boss here. It does have a couple thousand hit points, so it's uh, it can take a bit if you don't have uh, a good means of dealing with uh, fight pretty fight quickly. Well, I did appreciate that our party is so fast that everybody got a turn before he even did his little opening speech. Oh yeah, this spot is exceptionally slow. Which makes, uh, sometimes you can get a bottleneck, sometimes you can get Wyvern in front, so you uh, set everything up slow, and then you get, like, a Dr. Luggage behind. That's gross. That's the crystal ring there. Where are the key items? I bet they're on the moon. I bet they're behind that Golbez. 
Yeah, I bet they're behind that goal is. I hope it's... I hope it's behind that goal is. And the more p characters you pick up, the harder that Golbez is going to be. Because yes, you so. cannot set up uh, um, any sort of piggy strats, mini strats, two dead character strats. Because uh, you do get a full heal before going into the fight. But honestly, the slot, the slot is weak enough where you don't... That's not hugely necessary. Um... Especially in a situation like this, where we can just come back when we're stronger, even if, uh... Even if we're stronger, but not further progressed. And Lady Id, gonna go ahead and take on this, uh, Mount Ordeals, even though no Tella, no Cecil, uh, no food to get the bosses, but hoping that something... that, um, some sort of progression is through this. Yeah, I mean, we need key items, uh, so we gotta make key item checks, and, uh, yeah, avoiding that gold is, uh, yeah, of course you're gonna avoid that gold is, but BG Rich is gonna take it. And to answer the question in chat about Lady Ed not looting anything, um, she got a very solid, uh, starter kit out of, uh, the immediate Ebland dive. Uh, left all three of the trap chests intact, but came away with things like a heroin robe, a stardust rod, a dragon whip, um, just enough to get her completely set up for the early bit of a seed. And speaking of that dragon whip, um, goodbye Dark Elf. You know, I'm not a fan of the dragon whip because I don't just don't think it's very good, but it it comes in handy sometimes. There are just a handful of situations where it's your best friend, and then otherwise it's, a uh, subpar. Yeah, it's, uh, it's a, it's a mediocre weapon, but you don't need a good weapon to get through ordeals, you just need, uh, a mediocre weapon. And... and we have a French vanilla Mylon here. Um, Stardust is gonna do a lot of work on this dance party. Yeah, uh, very good, um, because that's, especially in the back attack, it's, it's annoying, uh, if you don't get that swept quickly. BG Rich, meanwhile, through on the Golbez. We'll see if progression is through this Golbez, or maybe somewhere up on this mountain. And he already had the way to open the moon in hand. Uh, that sounds like, a uh, value. Yes, uh, so that will be necessary for seed completion dealing with that gold bed, because we do have requirements on the moon. But we'll see on this ordeals right away if uh, there's something to, uh, divert Lady Id even further. And here we are on the top of the mountain. Uh, I'm gonna make Rydia into a paladin. Okay. Is this... Isn't that what you get there in vanilla? Yeah, it, it's almost like um, some manner of randomization happened in a way where it appeared to not be randomized. Even though it's still randomized, it just randomized in a very funny way. And then she kills her mom, because that's really annoying. So that does us no good whatsoever. Well, if you're gonna find D-Mist, in a low, uh, low HP spot is the best place to find her. Yeah, I mean, fantastic spot for Mist. Even though she's a summon monster and not a dragon. But we don't actually know what the D stands for. It could be Denise. Or, or Doritos. Mmm, Doritos. Yes, uh, this stream brought to you by Doritos. Please send us lots of them for free.
but BG Rich immediately turning in that darkness crystal, probably hoping to see one of those gated characters in a Cecil or a, um, a Foo. That's the kind of vanilla you like to see. Yes, uh, vanilla Foo, always great, uh, but again, even an Edward would be a great find here. Uh, cause he can, he can clear spots if once we get a couple levels on him. Yeah, no. He, he is a tool for a job, and there is a job he could do in this party. But, no. Sometimes you do what you don't wanna. Or just find a Cecil and a Crystal Sword. That's what this flag set's all about. I mean, yes. But sometimes... Did you know there are even scenes where Cecil isn't relevant? No. It's true. I've seen them with my own two eyes. Ooh, Hourglass is for sale in the uh, Lunarian Co-op doesn't really have a ton of cash for him, and might be looking for those sirens first. Yeah, like that's not good to know, like if you were, like with the, like if you were, say, Lady Id having that dragon whip, and uh, if you did have sirens, hourglass is right there, go take some gold dragons. Absolutely. Um, gold dragons are my favorite grind, but you've got to have all the pieces in place. Yeah, it's just we're, we're sirens away from uh, at least on Lady Inside. I will take that, Rosa. Thank you very much. And who do you get rid of in this case? Uh, probably Yang. Oh, or in this I... case, he doesn't have four party members. Uh, must not have done Baron Castle yet, so doesn't have the cane. Yeah, uh, that works also. Um, he's got the Leviathan, I think, so I wouldn't drop the Rydia in his position. Uh, not this early. Like, uh, that can still do some good for him. <coughs> and Lady Id having a little bit of a um, tough time with this Lugate. He's being kind of rude. Yeah, um, she's a little low level for this spot, uh, which, uh does make the play a little bit cheeky, which uh, I always like seeing. A casual cat claw for BG Rich's Yang right there. Always a nice pickup, and uh, that's that's interesting. That's between zero and one leg. Um, if that's elements, uh, that Mylon is going to hit like a truck. If it's Rubicante, that Rubicante is going to hit like a truck. He punches you, too. Oh, Leg, why do you do this to us? Although, although, if it is Mylon, that Moon Veil makes that fight free. Oh, yeah. I mean, either way, a Moon Veil will do a no, a Moonville won't help with uh, with straight Rubicante because of the glare. But uh, if, if that is elements, then yeah, you're right. But uh, BG Rich saying, um, not yet. I would like a little bit more to this party. Um, wow, that character does not help. And these dark imps are a little bit rude. A little bit rude, but a great find here. Um, if we can actually get, like, maybe an artwork class off, we must have something, or... Uh, I was gonna say, I really like finding uh, Dark Imps here uh, in particular, because uh, this spot is uh, deceptively high XP. So being able to life glitch, uh, if possible,
sorry about that uh, quick little tech hiccup. Um, but we are back, and we are still fighting some dark imps. Yep. Um. Yeah, not an ideal situation here, but we're through. And it does look like that uh, that BG Rich might be using that Rydia as an anchor. Did he not buy the Leviathan? Did he just kind of pass it by, maybe? I think he found it. Or he might have, bite up, might have bought it. But maybe deciding um, that this is a better way to use her. Or still might be waiting for a higher XP spot. Yeah, uh, could be, I guess. Uh, ordeals, I think, is really um, one of the sweet spots for a Leviathan on Iridia, though. Because she that that turns the entire uh, ordeals gauntlet of fights into uh, a one shot session. Baron key from dwarf, not an objective, but potential progression exposes two checks and another character. Yes, which frankly we're kind of hoping for. Yeah, anything is better than what we found. Yeah, like I'm not a fan of the party we've given. Um. It, this could be made to work, but I'm not, not with the current loot situation. Not with the, not as we're geared. I don't think I don't like this. Uh, I don't like that with this party either. Uh, there's a ninja shirt if you really want to drop fifty thousand on it. I at this point I almost would out of spite. I'm trying to think of what characters we haven't seen yet, and then remembered that we still have a dupe available. Yeah. Okay, which character who we could see who's a dupe would be the worst one, do you think? Yang. Good call. There is not enough room in this party to have to try and level up two of them to be functional. That's true. But Yang also doesn't need gear. And we have found not much gear. We also have not found sirens. So unless they are in the Eblin uh, cave shop, um, we might have to get a little uh, interesting on getting some levels on this party. Yeah, like the the key item distribution even even isn't super conducive to getting moon levels either, because we've got so few of them. But maybe we will find um, everything we're looking for in this Baron check. Fingers crossed. I do believe it is orbs in the first slot, so. Uh... Oh yeah, I think so too. Ugh. Of course, you know what's a great spell for this? Leviathan. Uh, Stardust wouldn't hurt either. I mean, that's... Oh, she's just got... That's not an inspiring set to have gotten from growing up either. Yeah, even a sylph at this point would be um, pretty helpful. Yeah, he does have sylph. Um, just, yeah, throwing a dart. Uh, we're just hoping to get this kill in before uh, any globes go out. I do like the strategy. Um, I don't like to deal with trying to figure out what I'm going to do about orbs. So I just damage overwhelming. Yeah, and that just, it takes the radio out, but, uh, that's all and nothing else? That's fine. <laughs> yeah, she's gonna loot here. She's feel she's definitely starting to feel the crunch of loot. Because that, that, that Evelyn was really good, but, uh... But only good for one character. Yeah, like, she's, uh... 
she's definitely starting to be like, ooh, I need more than I've got now. And BG Rich seeing Ashura just shove that waitress out of the way to come and attack the party. Yeah, jeez, rude. And we have a sparkle. Oh, this is fine. Uh, look at that. She... Beautiful. Slap that dragon whip on before even going in. Crank that agility. It is incredibly rare to see somebody take an action before the Ogopogo throws those big waves out. She has done that here. Mwah. Beautiful. Ogopogo is like, start a chain. You don't get to go until I finish my chain. Rydia goes, no, nope, faster than you. I'm faster than you. La 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 la. And BG Rich taking out this Mylon Zed, um, not too worrisome, is starting to get some levels on that Rydia. Not that this spot gives any levels, but she has 82 health now. Good for her. I don't want that either! That really doesn't help. I suspect, yeah, uh, that's more use for her in the gear situation she's got than a Yang will be, I guess, yeah. Uh... And, yeah, BG Rich thinking about it, but, uh, dropping that cane, um, committing to the Yang, which, fair enough, uh, Yang is a perfectly okay character. Um, and, you know, um, if you're in a situation where you're not, say, uh, r rolling around in Kane's best gear, yeah, uh, level K, level Y, yeah, they're roughly equivalent. Well, and there's an item that might get us a little bit of gear. That is an Earth Crystal, which, uh, Lady Ed is like, uh, please. Yes, no, no hesitation there. She's like, do you have a bladed weapon? And it looks like we see uh, BG Rich going to go to Eblen. Maybe wants to take on those trap chests. Yeah, uh, likely also feeling the gear crunch. Um, we'll be rewarded for that Rydia. Um, but, oh, oh, Artie Bow. White shirt, fine. Cat Claw, another Artie Bow. Oh, Avenger Murasabe. And a defense sword. I mean, two white shirts for the Porum and for the Rosa. Yeah, I, that's 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 fine. Uh, I do not hate that. And just put that arty bow on somebody with a heroin robe, and there's your DPS for a little bit. Yeah, like uh, yeah, Porum Rosa setup. You can uh, have just your Rosa. Uh, well, we don't have the Rosa yet, on Lady Inside, because she still has not touched the gold bows. I will be no. interested to see um, if Lady Id does take that Rosa once getting some levels on this Porum. Yeah, um, very possible. Um, maybe, maybe not. Um, and of course, she is about to do Earth Crystal, looks like, which is two more character checks. Um, and as we've been narrowing things down, we do still have a dupe available, but we do also still have Cecil and Fu available. And you know that this chest is going to have a crystal sword. Of course. Also, everyone, wave your newspaper threateningly at Scala. Because how often do you get your chance to do that? <laughs> and uh, found a free ninja shirt. Didn't have to shell out 50k for it, but uh, wasn't a crystal sword. Yeah, uh, that ninja shirt, um, the, the me that spite bought the one is now very sad. Just find another ninja. Perfect, yes. I, I, you know, I do like the ninja shirt just as a piece of gear in general. Um, it's, uh, you know, offense is king so often in this game and 
you know, as I will often say, but uh, the other stats it provides are very nice indeed, and uh, it is a rare source of uh, magic, uh, magic evade multiplier for Edge. We did see BG Rich having a little bit of trouble with one of those trap chests. Um, unfortunately, that uh, the edge got sleeped, um, and the uh, Staleman was not happy. That yeah, that that fight can be a problem if it gets away from you. It's you you go in thinking, oh, this is the easy one because you, especially when you have an edge, because oh, I'll just play with it, beat it to death. Uh, but then something goes wrong and it gets away from you. And we see a mom bomb here in the first spot. Um, mom bomb's rude and that she just adds health. Yeah. Um, in this case here, um, she effectively doubles the health of the slot because it is 9,000. She gets an extra 9,000 of her own to let her script fire. Which, in this case, the short form of that means we're definitely seeing the bombs explode. It is a good time to just throw out all your J items, do a little bit of damage. Ready is just gonna hit things with the Dragon Whip. Something, something, Rydia hit things. I, I genuinely prefer to let Rydia nuke things if I'm using Rydia, but... I, again, I don't like the Dragon Whip, but sure, yep, she can hit some things. We are letting her hit some things. And BG Rich did find the actual easiest chest of the Mad Ogres. Um, for anyone who didn't know, Mad Ogres are actually mages, which means that something like a Mute Knife does ridiculous amounts of damage. Yes, and they are a nice source of XP, and now that he has been finding those things for that Rydia, he is letting her get up. Just a white shirt. But what about third white shirt? Well, uh... It sells well. Oh, we did skip the explode, looks like. Very nicely done. Yeah, well, if you're gonna prove a commentator rug, that's a cool thing to do. That is also not a useful character! Yeah, at this point, you've already sunk so many levels into Rydia, and there's just not a good way to, uh, that we found to level these mages up. Yeah, like, the, the party Lady Id's got right now in no way benefits, uh, benefited by a Fallon. And then there's you. Where's the Cecil game? Where's the Foo? Are? Okay, yeah, we're not taking either of them, looks like. Uh, that's fine. Um, that's a Bahamut in that chest that BG Rich just opened. That seems pretty good for Rydia. Yeah. Uh, yeah, not taking the Eddie, which, uh, fair cop, um, now that we are get now that we're more established with this party that Lady Id has, uh, there's less, um, you know, there there's less to do with that spoon, uh, I, I, I think you still have a good case for taking him, but not taking him is just fine here. And another one of those spots that uh, makes great use of that Dragon Whip, um, the D-Lunars, which is also very good because uh, Kane is berserked and wants to hit things very hard. But takes him down. Uh, Rosa will eventually learn exit if BG Rich BG Rich picks up if, if Lady, Lady Id picks, picks her up. Yes. <laughs> we're, we're we're good at words. We we do this a lot. Honest. I have worded so much today already. <laughs> You're doing great. 
Yeah, like this is actually a, an unusually good seed for Rydia, this, uh, this, this seed. Uh, you know, you'll hear, you'll hear commentators say a lot, and I generally agree that this is a flight for Berserkers, uh, but this one is really just playing to Rydia's uh, abilities here. And Lady Id immediately going to turn in that... <laughs> Sorry, that was funny to me. Um, was going to turn in that package. Uh, it was a dupe bad board. No. Not even I will say you should take two Edwards. There aren't many things that are worth sitting through that cutscene for. Yeah, like, uh, I don't think I would even do it for a Cecil with her gear situation. And looks like she's coming back to the trap chest now. Yeah, uh... But yeah, uh, with her current gear situation, I wouldn't even sit through that cutscene for Cecil. Uh, who I might, uh, but that's about it. Well, and there was really nothing game-breaking up here in these Eblin trap chests. Yeah, we'll get the Bahamut, which will be quite nice, um, because we do have other gear to pivot that Rydia over to, uh, casting. Unfortunately, Bahamut is not something you can really take into the very late game and to Zeromus. Yeah, like, I... Like, it's fine. It's just... Like, it, it, it'll do basically nuke damage, but it's slow. And so much of good fight control does involve just knowing that when you input your character's command... Your character will do that command right now. You want to avoid things with delays, usually, if you don't want things to go south on anything hard. But we do see a life glitch there on the Mad Ogres. Meanwhile, we are going to see Dr. Luggage again. Um, I think BG Rich has a little bit more in terms of levels and has that Leviathan ready to go. Has the Bahamut ready to go that too. I guess Bahamut is better than Leviathan. You know what? That is a fight I would like to see. Two old men in robes duking it out? That too. Lady Id is about to get her Bahamut also, because that is the chest she's on right now. Man, yeah. Uh, oh, hasn't used the hasn't used that Bahamut yet. Uh, or no, uh, under she's she's under MP for the Bahamut. Uh, so finishing this off with Leviathan. Yep, use the Bahamut to take out two, then had just enough to use the Leviathan to uh, hopefully wash away the speech. Almost, but not quite. Dwarfax here does benefit uh, Lady Id, because she does still have that cane. But at this point, um, Lady Id is running out of checks that aren't um, that Golbez. Well, we've got we've got the Sealed Cave, we've got uh, Keyless Tower, and we do still have both of the uh, Fey March. That's a lot of checks. Yeah. Um, so right now it does just seem like she's, uh, she is going to avoid that, uh, Golbez, uh, until there's literally nothing else. Um, we'll see if that pays off, because it's very possible it could. If everything else is on the Earth, this could be good. Yep, and it looks like she is going to try and do this, uh, objective number two, uh, complete the sealed cave. As long as there isn't something, uh, something real bad here, uh, that Moon Veil can probably come in handy. Yeah, um, looking at her setup, uh, here, I'm wondering if she might also grab, uh, some of these trapdoors. Trapdoor grinds are definitely a valid grind, um... Sometimes you do what you gotta do to get your levels. Yeah, but it looks like not. 
just uh, swapping from her high anchor to a low one, which uh, is quite advisable for this spot. Um, it is uh, extremely high agility. You're not going to want to face that, so... So a low anchor is generally the thing to do here for a sealed cave. Yeah, especially if you run into something called Angry, angry Blarg. Uh, Wyvern does work here. Yes. Yeah. And if you don't have a proper anchor, it can be a hard lock. Yeah, um... I'd be very interested to, uh... To put that to the test at some point, but that's, uh... Either way, um, the reliable way through is... Oh my god! What? That's just a full mood. Uh, I... You have to walk it out, too. Yeah, That's you... the worst part. You have to walk out with a full mood. After Wyvern! I did this. I spoke this into existence. But, Sorry, uh, I'm, I, yeah, I'm yeah, very tickled. Her, this is amazing. Uh, with, with her agility as, her, as it is, uh, I, th I think she's fine to take this fight. Um, it's, uh, it will kill you if you get this fight. But, uh, with, uh, with a good setup, um, if, if you go in pre prepared, it's not hard. It's just, uh, it will, it will get you the ones. And hopefully not more. Oh, she's gonna beat it to death! She's gonna beat it to death! Rydia Angie. Come on, Rydia! Rid Rydia go burr! My favorite part about Wy Wyvern Standard Time is when you just stare and you wait and you're like, is the star bail going to go off? Am I going to get nuked? I don't know. Yeah, and you're sitting there going, if I think I theoretically did this right, this should work. This should work. Why hasn't it worked yet? I should I? I'm getting kind of hungry. Is this fight going to happen? Now, technically, you could get Wyvern to just take himself out here with that Rydia, but then you don't get a whole lot of uh, XP for the rest of your team that really needs it. Yeah, and normally I'd be like, this one is lousy XP uh, on the uh, overall scale, but right now, uh, we have not got a lot, so 23k will actually give us some uh, some very helpful levels right now. Yeah, masterfully done uh, by Lady Id. Um, yeah, and that's that's just how it goes. If it's 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 Wyvern here, uh, you die. Um, you die, and then you just come back. Um, and so that's that that is something you just take as given. Uh, so it's no effective time loss, and she did not blink. Handled handled that fight beautifully. And now we can back row glitch that edge. And now we can back row glitch that edge. But we see the danger noodle gonna be taken out. Um, personally, I'm hoping by a Leviathan just for the cinematic value. Yeah, I know that's oh, it's the Bahamut. Love it. Also. Hopefully not having any technical issues. Um... Oh, um... Yes, chat, please do say something if I sound weird. Um... Might have an issue with this mic, but easy to fix if I know what's going on. Um... And BG Rich getting the great news of a Porum! No, no forums on on the left side of the screen.
And what was I saying? The other thing, too, I wanted to uh, call out on Lady Inside uh, that just slipped my mind in that second. One other very important thing that she did there, she turned her battle speed back up immediately. Look, if you haven't accidentally fought uh, half that, a that, seed on six... Like that, that's what I'm saying, that's amazing! I have never seen anybody immediately turn the battle speed back up, because we all do that. We're all like, oh no! It's especially bad if you have Wyvern in the first spot of Baron Inn, and yeah. you turn it all the way up, and then you just kind of look at the second spot. Oh yeah, and then it's... And then it's, say, Dr. Luggage behind there, so it's extra slow. Or maybe Pale Dim, so it's extra slow with extra slows. And speaking of extra slow, we have the Alt Gauntlet. Um, these are the creatures that will cast Quake. Lovely, but it's quite weak. It's at, it's at quite a low uh, uh, spell power. Um, I believe the starter kit was only two star veils, so I th so I do understand going here instead of the Bahamut right now because uh, I'm gonna want a few more levels if you're going to try to uh, outrun that, which I don't think you can do on this particular spot. Well, hopefully we find star veils for sale if we do end up using them for. Uh the Bahamut fight because you're really going to need one for that uh, wyvern. Yeah, um, that is not optional. Your first character is going to need to wall himself or nothing. I mean, worse comes to worse, you can always steal them from evil masks. We do have the Steel Command. And I do love evil masks. They're very funny. They're 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 a great sprite. And um what a gimmick, what a pain to deal with. And that was a bonus rune ring from that fight. Sure. Uh, why not? Y'all, y'all, clapper grind. Oh, oh, clapper grind. Come on. Sub 10 key item clapper grind. Come on. These clappers are exceptionally rude. Yeah, they, they, they have a ton of hit points. Clapper grind is horrible. My favorite is the king spot for alt gauntlet when you get two clappers. Yeah, I mean, who doesn't want two clappers? Well, they do have tidy hands. I love you, tiny hand snack dragon. And thankfully, that conjurer did not summon another one. Phew! Oh! They did, just, uh... It... I, it, it needed time to find a place to park. Uh, did whiff on the Blitz, uh, with that heroin robe on. Very nice. Uh, but realizes, hey, I can't kill the one angry child, so I will just take out everyone else. You can get some XP. And that is a hook that can lead us to the, the, the one, two, the sixth objective. Great. 
And yeah, we are leaving with that Bahamut there, which, uh, again, in, in other circumstances would be a really weird choice, but uh, we have no star bales. Probably hoping to find some star bales in that Eblin shop. Yeah, uh, but it looks like we're going to do uh, Keyless Tower first. And BG Rich taking out those big bomb, the little bombs, um, just throwing different types of dragons at all of his problems. Yeah. I mean, that's, uh, that's a great rule to take through life. Uh, if you have a problem, throw a dragon at it. Life lessons from yes. Neon Gray. Very practical, uh, easy to do. But we'll see if any of these characters sound good to BG Rich. Oh boy, I bet he takes them both. Pelham University goes home, and Eddie J. He's thinking about it. He's thinking about it. He might. He might. Is he going healerless? He's going healerless, kids! Wow. Oh, yes! That's the good stuff! Might be hoping for uh, two-thirds healing 100% of the time. Hey, uh, if you got enough, you know, if you're healing, it's because you're not doing enough DPS. Exactly, Lord Bob Bree. If the enemy is dead, you don't need to heal. And we are sneaking some sirens from this alert here. Oh, duh, right, we can do that. We this scene has so been so cheap and plentiful with everything, it's, or this flag set. I forgot you do that. Looks like Lady Id is happy with the amount she's gotten, so gonna stop it. Uh, which is a very good thing to do, otherwise if you don't kill it in one hit, you get more mobs. Yeah, and they're not even good mobs, they're they're not even very cute mobs, they're just... I, I, okay, I guess the stone man's pretty cute. Um, and that Edward taking a very large nap. Oh, he wanted an anchor. Boo. Uh, no, Virus just hit him for, uh, 2300. Oh, well... What, much like the world. <laughs> but... That, that was less funny than I thought. <laughs> Moving right along, we yes. have <laughs> Lady Id heading up to top of tower. We will also find what is guarding the hook route. Oh, that's an ant lion. Not quite in his native home of the moon, but uh, still pretty nasty nonetheless. Yeah, uh, that is definitely uh, an argument for put off doing the doing the hook route. Don't don't rush the hook route. Never rush the hook route. Well never is not. Anyway. In general, don't rush the hook route. And uh we're gonna see the power of Bahamut on all of these dolls. Yeah, this should just queen the fight straight up. If not, then we get to see Big Doll. Ugh. Luckily, this is one way to not have to deal with the copious amounts of hit points this fight has. Just the pass. That's still not progression. Yeah, so now we have a Bahamut that she doesn't have star bills for, or a Golbez that's gonna take a long time.
because at this point, any any two members of her party uh, alive can easily kill that Golbez. There's no need to have to do anything besides just swing a weapon. You don't even care about bringing them up for like the 1200 XP. BG Rich is showing us a check that we haven't seen yet in this barren basement. Oh, how many legs? That's a oh. disgusting Rubicon over on uh, on the moon. Ew. Yeah. And that's uh, not a nice uh, element here. Um, so we roll. We low rolled on the quantity of leg. But there it is! Yay! Just a little leg is a treat. Thank you, BG Rich, for sustaining us with the leg. With a very powerful leg. Yeah, unfortunately, this is one of those spots where you would kind of much rather just deal with the Mylon. Yeah. Yeah, he's going to take that heroin off. Uh, probably just have her go. Um, yeah, nothing is better there. Uh, we want to basically use the Bahamut as a kill shot on this fight. Uh, again, this is a fantastic uh, Rydia seed. And Lady Id getting her grind in. Um, looks like she's decided this will be her party. Even if yeah. you find that Cecil. Yeah, and that makes sense, because we haven't really found anything that he can make super use of. And, uh, and honestly, when you're in a situation, uh, like where Lady It is, is in, where you've got a number of options that none of them are really great for you, like she's going for this tough slot, or the slot she's basically strongly betted on not, uh, not taking, or, uh, or the Bahamut situation, uh, stopping and taking a grind will give you time to think. Especially a Siren Grind. You don't need to think while you're doing that. You can decide what you want to do next. Yep. Um, and with that little mini grind, or full grind, I didn't see how many eggs she took out. Um, this could be very, very quick. Yeah, um, I'm curious to see um, if she has an easier time of it than uh, the BG Riches. Yeah, unfortunately those Fire 3s are just absolutely doing terrible things. Yeah, uh, that, yeah, uh, those levels on Edge, uh, enough to get him Image, um... Very nice. Um, yeah, this is some really good handling of the fight here. Um, like, this is, you know, uh, just a few more levels. Um, yeah. The, the contrast is pretty strong, just in terms of the pr what preparation can do you for a fight. Totally. Um, just that little mini grind, enough to... Um, take it out, at least get through the phase, and then get to the turtle, who is not scary at all at this point. Yeah, and just a life staff there. But, uh, honestly, a uh, very nice handling, uh, because as we can see, that is potentially an extremely rough fight, but one and done very clean. And at this point, uh, finally pushed back to... Fabul. Um, other than that Bahamut, I think that was our last spot. Yeah, uh, that's the last thing available, and I guess she decided that this, uh, doing this will be faster than trying to track down Star Veils. Which, uh, yeah, unless you find them very early, is, uh, I think, uh, 
get just correct math wise. Um, didn't check that Eblin shop though. Um, could have Star Veils, could have uh, Bacchus Pines. Uh, that's true, but also, um, she's she's got a source of uh, Berserk. Like she's got Avenger, and she's got a Porub, uh, so we can get our Berserkers online quite quite efficiently as it is. Uh, so it seems like she's committing to not doing uh, any part of the hook route, uh, even the shops, until she's actually doing the objective. And as Poorly Drawn Bees mentions, yes, uh, there is, yeah, uh, with the sirens that she did pull, she had very much, very good chance of just learning Wall and Porum, which will also get the job done. But I want to see the evil mask grind. I know, baby. I know. And BG Rich getting a full moon, uh, has to walk it out. About to get some real bad news. The inventory boss and the full moon, that's... Oh. Oh, and he's doing the inventory management now. Oh, oh. This is gonna hurt. Let's see, trying to do a run buffer, but I don't think you can run buffer this spot. Uh, not at battle speed one, certainly. And Lady It gonna raise the hovercraft. Um, we'll see if she wants to, if she's just raising all of the vehicles, or if she is gonna take on that hook route. Yeah, well, she knows what's there. Uh, if she feels like she can take it with relative ease, and she wants to do that before leaving for the moon, that's, uh, yeah, no, makes sense. Absolutely. Um, you never want to have to keep making trips up and down and up and down to the moon. You only ever want to do it once. Yeah. So, yeah, we're just going to do this now. Um, yeah, that'll make sense. Um, we, can, we, we can take an ant line here uh, quite, quite easily. And double cat claw on that young on BG Rich's side. Um, is it strength that cat claws increase? Strength and agility. So that young is gonna go zroom. Yeah, that should that should help a lot for sealing the kill here. Um, yeah, get that low, and he's much faster. Uh, but much faster than your anchor, so he's taking more turns, and you're there. And we find Bacchus's and Sirens there in that Eblin shop. Uh, got 20 Bacchus wines, it looked like. Yeah, I think she did also pick up some sirens as well, which, uh, yeah, makes sense. Uh, they takes a long time to steal on the edge. And if you're going up to the moon and you've got hourglasses anyway, uh, that's a fool. Oh, yeah. Let's see if she takes that. I mean, personally, I'm eating Porum into the abyss. Yeah, uh... Absolutely, like that, you know, great option there, uh, gives you somebody who can heal, but also, um, if you don't need that healing that second, you got a nuke. Well, and just yeah. naturally has more HP. Yeah. More hit points, um, more versatile, uh, better hair. Now, are we talking Final Fantasy IV Porum hair or the After Years Porum hair? 
I'm just saying, look at Fu's luscious locks, I mean. But After Years Porum has pink hair. That's true. And we see the Star Veils come out for that Wyvern only gets one off. But if you can get some life pots out, should be enough. Yeah, uh, one is really all you need. And looks like might be doing some cheeky strats with this Rydia and possibly having Wyvern just cast Mega Nuke on himself over and over again. Yeah, it looks like, uh, I like it. Um, it will get a lot, uh, it, it will just expedite this, this fight so much. Uh, you, you know, you get your own heal and, uh, free, free 10k. And we've got a Leviathan here in the first spot. Um, yeah, this isn't scary at all. Yeah, no, this is fine. Uh, it'd be a minor pain in the butt to deal with, with in the, uh, if you were doing it, uh, to go underground. But even then, it wouldn't be hard. Oh no, and unfortunately, Wyvern just still a little too fast getting those nukes out before, um, BG Rich can pull up characters. Yeah. Uh, he's thinking about the Heron Robe. Uh, probably should, since he's gonna be doing the Sylph, uh, that way. Uh, he's, he did this fight on BS4, so he can still tick it down, oh, uh, two more, uh, two more ticks. And Lady Id immediately heading to take on that Antlion. Um... Not afraid of the scary teeth. Yeah, no, just swap them back to Stardust, and uh, and the big, big, the big bad Bahamut. It's just awful that you have to work this hard for a full moon. It's insulting, is what it is. Like. And the worst part is, for both of our runners, it was at a point where it's like, yeah, I could actually use a full moon. So it's it's condescending, and it's rude, and it's like... People, you know, oh, randomizers are just randomizers. They don't have feelings. They don't hate you. Explain this. I'll agree with that. I think that some of these seeds are just downright out to get you. Yeah, I mean... You want proof of a malignant AI? It's, uh, randomization. The RNG. Yeah, we're just gonna come back for that later, looks like. Yep, um, might be hoping for, uh... Something that just gives a little bit more agility. Um, a ninja hat would be a huge help. Yeah, or even uh, go pick up an anchor from the Tower of Wishes. Um, Find a pink tail and get yeah. an adamant armor. Yeah, like uh, a bit more agility uh, on the rest of the party and a slightly lower uh, anchor uh, would probably get through. But also, if you've lost that much time uh, on it like he has, you also want to not go back until you're sure 100% you're clearing that thing. Absolutely. Um, but gonna go to top of tower, which I believe gave us our hook. Yes. So he is leaving uh, a, 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 a lousy objective uh, for progression. It was either Hook or the Pass. Was it the Pass? Oh yeah. But does still have that Alt Gauntlet and that Bahamut available. 
and one of them might be holding something, might be holding the pink tail. Right. Oh, yes. This was the pass, and the uh, hook was at uh, the gauntlet. So, what do you think of the elder's hair? <laughs> but we see the dolls. Um, I suspect we're going to throw more dragons at our problems. Yeah, uh, very, very easy on this, you know. A uh, great boss to find in this spot in general, just because... It's, you know, it doesn't have a ton of XP, it's got a ton of hit points. Get it out of the way. And even with a heroin robe on, uh, Rydia still does a lot of damage with that Bahamut. Yeah, turns out with uh, enough dice, you can just uh, not care too much about the benefits you get from being actually having the spell casting stats. Also, she's got a Stardust Rod on, so they kind of null each other out. And we get this Rosa. I suspect that Porum probably just has a li or we got rid of the Porum. Uh, yeah. Fu is better than both of them at this point. Yeah, there's, there's no need to have a dedicated White Mage in this party at this point. You want white magic? You don't need a white mage. And Fu knows exit. She's done Earth Crystal. Yeah, but wait. Yes. <laughs> that was like more than five minutes ago. Oh, okay, fair, fair. And, and we'd had a discussion about hair in between, which, that's really important. And we are going to see our first dip into the lunar subterrain. Um, are you top down or bottom up? I'm, I'm top down on this with, a, with an objective on Barasame, I do top down. Uh, also, with this number of key items, she's got, which is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. Yes, uh, absolutely 100% top down, uh, and you hope for two and hit ten before you get the really XP bearing spots. That totally makes sense. Gross. At least it's not the ribbon room? Yeah, this is not the worst spot for him, uh. But it's not a good spot for him. It's punchy, and it's got hit points. Yeah, that Kainazo has places to be, uh, wants to go very fast. Yes, um... Fortunately, I think it's pretty much cosmetic, his own fasts, uh... At least if he were to, uh... Yeah, no, I, th I think it is. It, yeah. So you're telling me that there's a spell in this game that doesn't work properly? It works properly, just not usefully. In, th in this particular situation, anyway. Uh, Fast is an interesting spell with some niche uses. Um, like, if... Uh, if you need to rearrange your party order... Uh, mid-fight, uh, your turn order for some reason, and, uh, adding, uh, you, you can do that with, uh, with fast. It's not something you'll... It, it's, it's extremely rare, but it's not useless, it's just... Yeah. But we see this Bahamut. Um, this is something we haven't seen yet. Um, Bahamut, meet Bahamut. 
Um, and this could have uh, something like the pink tail. Um, adamant armor adds a lot of agility. Yeah, and uh, cranking that disparity between uh, anchor and uh, your DPS on that uh, wyvern fight, it would that would just be huge right there. Lady Ed back in with the Kainatsu. Kainazo is another one of those fights where um, half the time you have to end up resetting because, well, you're just not ready for it. Yeah, um, and it's like, if you know what you're going into, you're totally fine. It's just, uh, what, you know, uh, one wipe is your cost of admission. Yeah, much, mu much more under control this second time around. Like, very, very nicely done. Well, I say done, but it's still going, but this is, this will not be another wipe. And this should be the last reflected Mega Nuke from Bahamut. I believe so, yes. Yep. Both, uh, both of our runners through their respective fights. Just an um, adamant armor. Why don't we just cut out the middleman and just find an adamant armor proper? Yeah. Which, uh, again, uh, finding that right there, uh, I wonder if you don't kick yourself a little for not having grabbed that much earlier. It's hard to say because, you know, you don't know that... You don't know where Wyvern is, and you don't know if you're going to have Star Veils. Yeah. And, uh, but just having that adamant right now, uh, going straight on that Edward, uh, who I think, yeah, is that is the best candidate for it in this party. Um, though Yang, too, uh, will particularly benefit from adamant armor just because he is so uh, reliant on his base stats. But in this case, uh, Eddie, uh, he can do the most with the leg up from it. Well, and I don't know that our runners have found a... Words, words, a cursed ring. So managing that, uh, all of these characters are kind of fast. Yeah, and... Again, uh, that's not a problem if you're comfortable managing it. Uh, but there's a lot of reason why you do want to have a curse ring around, uh, just to, uh, is because, again, it is a known reliable strut to be able to do that. Can we just fight the conjurers that only summon rock moths and not clappers or arachnes? I mean, I can try, uh, but I don't think they'll listen to me. I mean, what do you have against rock moths? Nothing. They don't murder you. Uh, speaking of murder... Uh, and speaking of bosses who are quite often, uh, just, uh, take a wipe, leave a wipe. Now, uh, BG Rich is going to have a much, much easier time with this Dark Knight Cecil fight with that Edward. Yeah, uh, that just becomes straight free. Um, in if you can just get that fight off uh, before Eddie collapses under his own hit points. Or lack thereof. But Lady Ed does get the cure four out, barring a very, very high roll. I think she is going to make it through this. Yeah, just holding there, picking who she wants to live for XP, goes with the cane. BG Rich now has the Clapper Conjurer and then the Clapper. Yay! 
Meanwhile, uh, we're learning an important lesson about justice. Or at least someday we're learning an important uh, lesson about justice and about pink tails. Pink tails seem good. I, I agree. I mean, you could just get one without having to take the time to move the hovercraft, but then you wouldn't get the objective. Yeah, so really, I mean, you know, the fact that it's exceptionally cute is just like a bonus. Well, I mean, it's pink. Everything pink is cute. Yes, and it's also a little tail. Like... Oh, oh, speaking of grinds. Oh, come on, life two grind, life two grind. I mean, even just a life one grind. Oh, this is so much XP. Come on, Fu. You can do it. There you go. Oh, we're doing it this way. Okay. There's a week. Come on, oh, get the big XP's on the back one, the back one. Well, and Fiery Blizzard in chat pointing out that that gives us 10 key items. Um, I can't count above 5, so I'm going to take your word for it. Oh, we got the ice too. Oh. Oh, but... Oh no, you're not left glitching the most XP one. It's the officer who's got all the XP. Idiot, no! Ooh. On the other hand, oh she's oh she's pre prepping. I was wrong. I'm sorry, lady. Ed. And I do think BG Rich is said I'm not going to have a white mage. I'm just gonna buy a lot of exits. Very nice. Lady, it does miss the timing on that life glitch. Uh, does get one, but doesn't get the bonus. Oh, still. And then we just clean that fight up right then and there. Very nice. That's a casual 360,000. Uh, that was two more key items. Yes, that was. And one of them was actually required. Even better. I wonder if you turned that, uh, that adamant in. I don't think so. Uh, but right now, I'm... If I'm Lady Ed, I'm sitting there going, Oh, I wish it was worth it to check the shop. Yeah, unfortunately, in this round, it'll just get you an Excalibur, um, which if you had a Cecil and hadn't found anything else is not a bad thing, but um, yeah, at this point, no. Yeah, um, yeah, like you can throw the Excal, which is quite nice, but I don't, I mean, what are you still wielding on it? Uh, I just... No, I think she's found some sort of weapons for him. She found a light sword. Yeah, she, she must be wearing a good weapon, because she's hitting for 2300. Oh, wait. Are we talking about Kane? Uh, no, the edge. Oh, she found the, uh, Mazamune. Oh, okay, yeah. Or the Murasame. I can't tell the difference between the two. It's a decent weapon either way. Uh, so yeah, I... In this case, yeah, I think... I, th I think you don't check the shop, uh, uh, on, for forging, but you feel bad that you don't. And BG Rich, uh, picking up some sirens, has said, okay, let's do a grind, um, and I'm going to go show every boss in this game who's boss. Yeah, yeah. 
And thank you, Nathaniel. That is a Murasame. Because Masamune does have a unique attack animation, and that's a heroin roll. We already have one of those. We don't need more. And since that is the Mazamune altar, um, I also can't tell the difference between those. It doesn't help us. Yeah, but we take the XP. Uh, we're, we're quite good on the levels right now, but... You know, we did it. Uh, it's just a few seconds to walk that out. And now we get to take on the last location here in the lunar subterrain. I'm trying to think of what could be really nasty here. Um... Not a lot at this point. Uh, like Odin might be might give you a rough time. Uh, no, we fought Odin, haven't we? I don't think so. All right, Veldalis, uh On this spot, yeah, that that can be ugly. Yeah, that's ugly here. We do still have that cane though, so. Yeah, but you don't want to be jumping on the, uh, the physical damage spot like this. Well, and if you start the fight with an Avenger, there is no jumping. Yeah. But uh, yeah, this this is another this is one of those spots where jumping on Bell is a huge mistake. Uh, this is also mean-ish. I because it hits hard, but also you just slow it down so fast. Well, and if you ever wanted a boss for that moon veil. Yeah. But that takes too long. Just throw dragons at it. Yep. And BG Rich finding that foo. Um, we'll see if he's going to commit to the no healer party or if going to be like, well, maybe. Could rotate that ready out at this point. Um, oh, that's a twin harp. And other than the Bahamut spot, I think that has to hold progression. Yeah, I think it went very well light. And yes, he, he does rotate out the Ridia for the Foo, uh, which uh, makes sense. Um, that Rydia has been a huge carry throughout the seed, and she has done fantastic work. Uh, but right now, uh, just the foo just gives a better insurance for the remainder of the game. And gonna go find that uh, full leg there at the uh, Bahamut spot. Uh, yeah, that's gonna be terrible. Yeah, but uh, terrible for whom? Because she is well equipped to deal with pretty much any threat in the game. But he's so punchy there. You know what else is punchy? Kane? It's Birdie. Yes. And the uh, and and. You know, and the magic deck here is so pathetic, you don't even really care about the fire two counters. Like, you don't berserk the edge, I don't think, but, uh... Or did she drink? Yeah, she's darting instead. Good candidate, uh, but... Yeah, uh, you don't even really care about the fire two counters here. And we're gonna throw dragons, and we're gonna throw nukes, and we're throwing, uh, cutlery. We are showing that leg who's boss. I lost now, but I shall return. No, you shan't. You've already been defeated on the other happy. But, uh, sadly, we are. Wait, what was I just thinking? Right, I. I, I rearrange the quarter leg in my head for some reason. 
Oh, that's an ant lion. That's an ant lion, not a quarter leg. Is that piece of, that peachy rich is about to go into? Well, ant lion has lots of legs. That's true. But that is only an Avenger from the Bahamut spot, which means all progression is through that music. Thank you, Scala. And Jay Brunter in chat asking if Lady Id has an adamant armor yet. Well, as soon as she turns in that pink tail. Yes, which uh, I'm assuming she'll do first. Yeah, so I... Oh gosh, does this have to be a full, the full chain? I think it does, yeah. Uh, Unless well, no, it's... Sylph gives a key item and Sheila too gives a key item, yes, it would be the full chain. Yeah, you're right, there's a potential branch on Sylph. We are going back just to clean up this Bahamut now that we're capable. Um, she uh, won't... Yeah, she won't find progression there, but she will find her, uh, the other adamant. So, for Zeromus with this party, would you put it on Edge and Kane? Or would you throw it on Foo for safety? Um, for my part, um... I probably have one on Foo. And then I have put the other on whichever of the edge or cane that I'm anchoring off of, which uh, is at that point uh, whoever I can get over 56 agility. But BG Rich has launched the Falcon. Um, we'll see if he wants to give that... Uh, Wyvern another shot, or if wants to go ahead and head up to the moon. Yeah, um, I think we're probably thinking, uh, moon time, uh, just cause I, I suspect that Wyvern is gonna be the very last that he does in this seed. Yeah, as someone who has gotten that Wyvern there a couple of times, uh, I don't like Wyvern there at all. Yeah, it's yeah. Um, it, it's it's an ugly location for that fight. I think it was my second seed ever, and of course I did it on K Trap before objectives, and my crystal was behind that spot. Oh, the classic. You, you you hear about these those seeds in in myths and legends. And it looks like Lady It said, "Uh, no, I'll just take the one. Thank you." Interesting. Um. Like, I guess a reset is faster than casting exit. Well, and May, after last locationing that darkness crystal, may feel a little bit behind. Yeah, that's very true. So just try to make up any seconds she can there. But BG Rich about to come face to face with that turtle. Um, with that eddy, with the adamant armor and the spoon, probably going to do enough damage to bring that wave to a manageable point. Yeah, there's. Uh, yeah, I'm not expecting a wave on BG Rich's side on this. But now is the time where the commentators are supposed to be quiet and not talk through music, so we'll be back in just a minute. Sorry, was that we need to ta start talking through the music? Chat gets very upset if you do that. You say that. <laughs> well, 
Help! Spell is bullying me. Okay, actual quiet time now as the uh, cutscene starts. Uh, that didn't take long. No, no, it did not. Okay, good. We do not have to do the full chain. Nope. But we'll see if that those last two key items are chained together or if they are separate. Yeah, uh, you are actually, I think, kind of hoping that they're separate because uh, the uh, the objective is to return the pad, and if they're separate, we might get something useful out of the last uh, check. Eh, useful. Nah. Oh, and we have to cure the character with the sand ruby. Maybe it's I a Cecil. <laughs> No, it's just discount, old man. Yeah, unfortunately, when you have a foo, Attila just seems inferior. Yeah, like th this is, and, and honestly, I, I I really appreciate it because uh, Attila has been so pivotal to so many of the previous tournaments. Uh, to f actually have one where he is just a mediocre character and not, uh, deceptively powerful, uh, is... that's a nice change. It's, it's, it's nice to get some freshness there. I mean, we could always ban all old men. I, I mean, if we want no tournament for old men, then... But BG Rich finding this great source of XP. Um, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Only having nine key items, though. Oof. That's. A... Yeah, you hate to see that. And I don't think we're. Bo yeah, we're not life glitching. We're doing. We're going for a stone cast. Let's see. Is Fu tell a life? Nope, gets it off. Yeah, and we're through there. Uh, get a few levels. And it looks like we picked up the rat tail from the um, sylphs. So, yeah, still a chance of Sheila having something silly good. She could have a crystal sword. Yeah. That would be a thing that we would have to have take up space in our inventory. Or, as uh, Bees from chat is pointing out, could still be a 17 of 17. 
Is it a 17 of 17 if it's just kind of you get it up incidentally and not because you were actually needing to check that? We're not even turning in that rat tail there. I mean, Sheila could force the 17th on us. And BG Rich handily getting through that Dark Knight. All characters alive, everybody gets XP. Very exciting. Yeah, uh, you'll love when it works out like that. Guess it's Pinktail and. Ooh. Crystal? And Tissa. <laughs> See, I told you it could be something useful. Yeah, that's probably the most useful thing that could have come out of that. Yeah. Well, could have been Miss Eh. Yeah. Or a ninja sword. Mute knife is putting in work. It's true. But BG Rich gonna take on this plague, gonna find the second heroine robe. And yeah, wow, looks like uh Lady Id just remembered that there were uh Headbands for sale in Fabul on our way out and just uh, picks some of them up for her boys. And I, uh, I'm i assuming that's just cold remembering that because who tracks headbands? I can't remember when I see good gear in, <laughs> in shops, let alone uh, not I mean, it's not bad gear, but it's not, like, an adamant armor gear. Yeah. But, uh, we have a question we're supposed to ask, because, uh, we have a pass. Um, Neon? <laughs> oh, yeah, so we have a pass. Uh, what time does the show start? Uh, what will you be wearing? Uh, oh, no, um, so is Aerobus, last boss here, um, doesn't get randomized, uh, because nobody wants to run into Aerobus and Antlion, no matter how funny that would be. Um, so, uh, but we have to randomize him somehow. And so, um, he puts on a different costume every single seed. I'd never ask if Butt is cute, because all Butts are cute. But we do need to know, whose Butt are we going to be kicking tonight? And alternately, does it have a Butt? How many Butts are there? there is are... the Butt cute? I just said that all Butts are cute. We know the Butt's cute. But that was like 20 seconds ago, and I have a goldfish memory. That's true. Okay. But his true colors emerge. Grr, erg. Is it a butt? Yeah, there, there's a person there. Um, there's a butt. Yes, this is your bonus bus from Delta Rude, uh, Jevil never bothered to fight. <laughs> but it does have a butt. And lots of hearts. Yes. But we see the Avenger glitch. Um, Kane is gonna go burr. Um, I think we got a Bacchus on that edge. And the rest of the team is just gonna be team do team things. Yeah. Uh, got that nerf off. Gonna heal. That Rydia did not take hardly any damage. 
yeah, well, she uh, certainly gets a lot of multipliers to that effect. I mean, well, BG Rich, using Wall to, uh, uh, AI Lock Plague there. I love this strategy. Um, when you can pull it off, it's it's a free fight, and um, Plague just keeps making plague, pl sad Plague noises. Yeah, it's, uh, it's very nice, and uh, it is extremely safe. He's through. That year two on uh, Fu on Lady Inside. We see his heroine robe. Probably gonna want to keep those levels. Every little bit helps for that Edward. Yeah, and and similarly walking that out. Um, yeah, it, he especially wants the XP just because uh, he did get less. Uh, yeah, he's level 45 to 48, which is fine, but it's also where you're not going to say no to more levels. Where you're, where you're going to say no. And here comes our second Big Bang. Um, Rydia lives! Unnerfed, everybody survives. Very nice. Gimme rocks! Gimme rocks! Yeah, we should be seeing rocks any time now at this output. Oh no, black hole! Well, that's so rude. Kane doesn't care. He doesn't. Uh, well, we, we, we'll go get the turn with slightly more damage. Only 2400. There's rocks. our rocks. Our victory fireworks only tagging edge. I think that adamant must be on Rydia. But I thought I saw her put it on Kane. Oh, did it go on Kane? I could be wrong. I'm just, uh. Yeah, uh, ignore me. I'm just kind of eyeballing uh, how much damage is being taken. I don't do math on stream, it's dangerous. I like doing dangerous things. But there's the crack boom, there's the shake. Our winner is Lady It19 with a time of 1 hour, 54 minutes, and 25 seconds. Ah, uh, GG. Some gorgeous fight handling on that. Uh, we're gonna see if we can get her in here to talk with her about the scene. Well, uh, while we wait for her, uh, BG Rich, uh, taking out that Octomam, going to get that extremely required Twin Harp. That sounds like Lady Ed right now. It sure is. How are you? I'm doing good. Uh, how are you feeling after that? Um... <laughs> is, is that a good enough reaction? <laughs> Oh my goodness, what a seed. What a seed from start to finish. Um, uh, from, from, you know, the early Magma Key to, you know, me deciding, like, unable to decide is Radio going to be a Heron Robe Rosa or Heron Robe Wearer or Bahamut, um, you know, caster, um, you know, to uh, Twin Harp, of course, you know, uh, being required, you know, uh, coming from the moon. Like, there's just so much to say about this seed. <laughs> Yeah, uh, oh boy, and... Well, I'm sorry that I spoke that wyvern into existence. <laughs> what was that, a uh, sealed cave? Was it? Yeah. 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 <laughs> I was like, well, maybe I get now. Now, I, I, I knew, like, battle speed one, like, whatever. I, I think, did I, did I have the food at the time? I don't remember who I Not had. Not yet, no. no. Okay, it was before the hook route. Yeah, yeah. I was like, all right, well, at least I saved. <laughs> Yeah, and uh, honestly, the way you handled it, uh, handled the fight after that, that, after you adjusted for that, gorgeously done, honestly. Honestly, that wasn't, that wasn't a big deal to me. And, um, 
The only thing I was afraid of was like, well, I don't know how my anchoring situation here is the agility, like is battle speed six going to be enough? And, you know, thankfully it was, but as as wild as it is, Wyvern was the least of my concerns um, at that point. Honestly, uh, it felt like that just watching you, like you just swept it aside. Uh, just, just treat the wipe as the price of admission and clean up and go. Well, I, I, I say that because the seed had felt, I don't want to say the seed had felt rude to me to that point, but I, I already felt like I was kind of behind, like the, you know, the um, seed up to that point was pretty slow. Um, you know, getting that magma key early definitely kind of threw me off. My, my routing kind of felt off. Um, kind of, I guess you would say, last locationing the um, Golbez there, you know, kind of felt, um, you know, kind of felt bad at Fabul. I think I, I left maybe um, Bahamut at Leviathan at that time. Um, yeah, it, it was just, I kind of just fell all over the place. Yeah, I mean, this this was an awkward seed, like with, uh, you know, you got the initial burst of good gear, but then very little else for such a long time, and then the character distribution was just meh. So. Yeah, I, I was really trying to sell out, trying to find a Cecil. I'm like, he's got to be somewhere. Like, you know, everywhere I went, I'm like, all right, there's there's not Cecil there. Okay, <laughs> maybe I can find a Rosa. No, okay. Um, all right, I guess Porum, Rydia, Edge, and Young it is for a bit. Um, and, you know, taking uh, Jorf especially was where I felt, uh, really felt slow. Um, you know, if I would have had that one back, I probably would have went, you know, maybe shopping for um, some other gear. Um, you know, maybe, uh, you know, probably, which I realized too late, you know, Edge can steal sirens, you know, um, stole some sirens or, you know, crack some eggs and get some, you know, uh, influx of XP. Uh, so that, that hurt a little bit. Well, and we did notice you reset out of that adamant armor from Bahamut. Mm -hmm. Yeah, well, it was a mix of feeling behind a bit and also saying, well, you know, I have to turn this pink tail anyways objective. I'm going to get an adamant armor here. I don't need a second adamant armor. It's fine. Like, I, I felt barely comfortable with the levels. And I'm like, by the time I exit out of this, fly out of the underground, like, I'm just, I'm right there. I'll just, you know, uh, reset out of it. And then I can just go east to um, uh, Magnes from there. Yeah, fair enough. You certainly didn't need it, so. Oh, almost. <laughs> <laughs> almost. <laughs> you, know, um, you know, even with an Avenger, Zeus, Kane, I, I, I wouldn't say I felt 100% comfortable going into Z. Um, certainly when I hit rocks and rocks hit twice um, before Kane was able to tuck and take another swing, that's where I was like, oh, goodness. <laughs> yeah, that's, uh, but all's well that ends well. Everybody came up through that, and uh, hey. Yeah, yeah, it, it ended up working out. Um, I had no idea... Like the, the only thing I felt good about, I would say, from a rounding sp perspective, was that twin harp um, being where it was and knowing that it was, you know, required. Um, I was like, okay, that that lets me, you know, um, it doesn't punish me for my routing as much. I guess let's put it that way. Yeah, and it turns out you weren't really on that. Um, I mean, that's quite lucky there with that seed, just because, yeah, that was a uh, very, very a, a weird sort of kindness in the end from it. Yeah, um, and, you know, I tried also, really wanted to snag in an adamant armor, you know, as I'm sure you can probably tell, you know, taking Evelyn Castle. Yeah. Um, I think, yeah, I think the Bahama is what I got from that, which ended up being you know, pretty useful, uh, you know, very useful, I would say, at, at times, um, although, you know, more so later in the seed than, than kind of early, um, you know, but just, yeah, never really found that power overwhelming gear. Yeah, which honestly, uh, I'm kind of curious. Um, 
So the scene started to go off with what? Uh, two star veils? Uh, yeah, yeah, two star veils. Yeah, so knowing that there was that adamant on that Bahamut there, uh, just wondering, like, from a theoretical standpoint, do you feel like, uh, do you find yourself wishing you might have, uh, I've popped that like earlier on uh, to take those uh, Bahamuts and, uh, to take that Bahamut with those Star Veils. And That's just... a good question. You know, um, I want to say, I want to say, like, knowing what we know, like, if I, like, you know, assuming routing everything was going to be the same and who knows, yeah. still probably, still probably not because my fear then would have been going into Sealed Cave without any Star Veils. Yeah. Against uh, that wyvern and saying, huge. Yeah. Oh goodness, now I have to, you know, go hunt for them and then walk back. Like, yeah, I really would have felt behind then. Yeah. Um, but certainly, yeah, that that would have been um, you know, anything to have back, that would have been been one. You know, I could have I don't know what I could have done. I could have done something to get through it and then just find Star Bales afterwards, knowing Wyvern was still out there, but Yeah. Yeah, that would have been nice to have. Yeah, because that, that's honestly just something I that I had been thinking about basically as soon as you popped that adamant and was like, or as soon as we saw that adamant uh, from the fight, and I'm like, you know, a, lo a lot of people do pop that fight early, uh, but all but you had only two star veils from the starter kit and uh, a wyvern that at that point still unaccounted for, and uh, clearly one where you absolutely must have star veils. Well, that's exactly it. I mean, you're right. I, I know a lot of other racers, probably yeah. better racers than me, um, you know, if we're being honest, will take that and then just try to find Star Veils elsewhere. Um, you know, it may not have seemed like I, I like to try to minimize um, the shopping I do. Yeah, like, you know, and yeah. I, and I know a lot of good runners also do that. So it's like, it's just, it's such an interesting question that I think that seed, the seed has. It is, it is, um, you know, <laughs> I, I'd like, I don't know, I mean, going back, maybe I do something different, I mean, maybe, like, you can you can make a case that you take the risk-reward, you say, maybe I don't run into Wyvern, and sometimes you don't, but, you know, and then other times he's sitting there at Sealed Cave, and, you know, um, yeah. I would have absolutely needed something, because I... I think I still had, yeah, I had Porm at that point who had not had wall, um, so it would have meant either grinding up for wall um, or hunting for Star Veils. Yeah. I was really hoping for the evil mask grind. <laughs> 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 yeah, um, unfortunately it turned into the um, sketchy conjurer, you know, uh, succession fights, which I... You know, I knew there's Aragnes were coming out. I knew there were, you know, there's at least one of them. And I knew they were going to throw out Quakes, but I, I kind of, I didn't remember expecting to have as much HP as they did. And as the fight's going on, I'm like, okay, this is getting a little bit more dicey than I thought it was going to, going to entail. Yeah. Well, and then the clappers immediately after. Yeah, the clappers. And I was like, oh goodness, here comes the Blitz. And, you know, I, I don't know who they kept missing on, if it was Rydia, um, Yes, it was Rydia, Rydia with yeah. that heroin robe. Yeah, okay. So I was like, all right, well, as long as they keep missing Rydia, but I'm like, all it takes is just one to pop through, and then, yeah. That... yeah. And I feel like cl clappers always have exactly twice as many hit points as you remember. Well, that's exactly it. And, you know, I'm just doing about 2k a swing, I want to say, from Rydia. And I'm like, okay, um, you know, I should be through this fairly quickly, and then... Uh, it was not quickly. <laughs> it still kept going. I'm like, all right, well, <laughs> uh, I've got no choice but to just try to press on through this. Yeah. But... Um, what I was pulling for was a life two grind on the ribbon room. <laughs> I was, I, you know, I was really disappointed I couldn't get those double life glitches off. Um, yeah, I saw you going for it. I, I hoped, I hoped. Yeah, it was something about the way Kane and Edge, um, the way their agility was, you know, Edge, I think it was Edge that popped, you know, popped off a life. And then, yeah, right before uh, one of the soldiers died, and then I was like, all right, well, then, you know, then Kane was able to pop it off, but then I wasn't able to get a second person off, you know, even getting, even getting a tier two spell out, like I just couldn't get the timing right. Um, but it was still, you know, what, 330,000 experience. <laughs> Yeah, like, you still got plenty there, like...
more, yeah. more than enough. Yeah. Uh, what else did the seed have? Uh, pulling the foo was nice, of course. You know yeah. that was that was just an absolute um, uh, gift at that point. Um, instead of having to try to take Porum into you know Zeromus at the end, um, I guess it was good. I want to say it was good, but you know, uh, well, I was gonna say there's good. There's no Cess on the seed, but then again, I did find a second Avenger, so maybe never mind. <laughs> Yeah, but what what would he have warned us walk into that? Yeah, <laughs> right, right. I, well, there I think is he might a have There is a guaranteed Excal. That's true. I I did have that forge, um, but I I wanted nothing to do with it. At you know being an hour forty five into it, um, after turning in that pan, yeah. you know thinking about the forge, I'm like, no, I'm I'm good. Yeah, like I was, we were talking about, and I'm like I. Like I was like, so so I figure, you know, you're like, I wish it was correct to take to go forge and check that shop because that edge would have like another weapon maybe. Yeah, I thought about trying to to go around looking for a ninja sword. You know, um, I don't think I checked dwarf. I know I didn't check Fey March weapon shops. I'm like, well, I've got a Murasame. I've got a middle sword. To me, that felt good enough. And and yeah. Uh, For the most part, it was. I mean, Ninja Sword. You know, I don't. I don't know what what it would have pumped up, but maybe an extra three to five hundred damage if I had to estimate and you know swing. And it wasn't worth it to me. Yeah, no, really not. Like, it's it's one of those things. Where it's like you 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 could have liked to have it, but you know you can make do. Um, but yeah, when is your next match scheduled? Oh, my next match is Saturday. I want to say 4 p.m. Eastern against uh, Simbu. Um, so Ooh. I, you know, go right from the frying pan into the fire, as it were. <laughs> well, uh, uh, but, good luck. Yeah, well, that's what I was going to say. I have, I had, I kind of felt like the, the you know, the first match um, tourney um, jitters. You know, like, I don't know if you could tell, like, just my, my menuing, you know, um, just the way I was maneuvering. You know, it didn't really take me, honestly, it didn't take me till I would tell you, a good hour into the seed for me to kind of, like, you know, slow down and, um, you know, kind of get things under control. So I'm glad this first match wasn't against Simba, let's put it that way. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you know, I have to say, um... Uh... You know, uh, whatever else work there is to be put in, uh, I really like your, like, uh, your in-fight handling. Uh, like, you you take fights really cleanly. Um, it's really nice watching. Yeah, I thank you. Um, it's something I'm, I'm trying to work on, trying to, you know, uh, not have as many wasted actions. Um, you know, I don't know that I'm quite there yet. Uh, if you want an example of that, you can certainly see the um, stone I tried to put on the party going against the Dark Elf for getting that Rydia had a ribbon on her. Um, <laughs> I was like, oh, yep, there's that ribbon. Never mind. <laughs> um, but you, you, you have to clean things up. Um, yeah. You know, certainly in this, uh, you know, certainly in this group anyway, with as many talented runners as you have, you can't really have any wasted actions. So it's... Yeah. Something I'm definitely going to keep uh, cleaning up. Well, I still think you did an excellent job. Um, I know you've been around the community um, a lot longer than my brain is processing, but 2020 to 2022 has been both the shortest and the longest amount of time, and you have really grown in that time. Yeah, yeah, it has been that long, and it's, um, you know, it's, it's pretty amazing. Um, you know, I'm just glad to be back in the you know be back in the tournament scene this is you know definitely the most exciting time of the year and um you know uh, also have my wonderful co-pilot of the buzzing gears uh, poorly drawn bees you know um not only in the tournament but also cheering me on and i credit any success um i have to her um coaching me on behind the scenes too oh and you know what you've uh it's always great to know there's a cheering section for you which you have absolutely had here. And it's been very cute. 
Yeah. Um, any other questions for me? Uh, I don't have anything else. Neon? I think we have uh, pretty thoroughly run down the seed, and yeah, we got you know you're running next uh, next on Saturday, so yeah, uh, I think that's pretty much uh, all I have for you. Okay, uh, Iker doing the tracking, Scala doing the restream today. You Neon, Alisail, thank you all so much for putting this together. It was um, certainly an entertaining. Uh, race, I'm sure, and I'm very much looking forward to running it, or excuse me, um, watching it back, but for now I'm going to go uh, get some dinner. You all have a great night. You too, and GG. And that was our first place finisher tonight, Lady Id. Um, meanwhile, we see BG Rich, um, finishing up the um, these last couple of spots trying to take on this wyvern who is still being exceptionally rude yeah um, this is the problem of having the foo right here um, like this is a case where uh, it is choose like not now I don't think but you almost uh you, you just pick up a spare anchor on the way down. But, uh, looking at how he's rearranging, um... Yeah, going all the way down to six, he'd been playing on four before. Uh, that should be enough, I think? Yep, I think, uh, with six and that rearranging, um, throwing a crystal ring on, that should be enough to manipulate the agility gods to be a little more kind. Yeah, because in this case, especially what you want um, is not not only do you want your lower speed uh, anchor, um, but pertinent when you have a foo who is not uh, a single digit, um, you want the rest of your party to be as much faster than that as possible. So. And fortunately, we've got uh, the two most agile characters in the game in Edge, and Edward and Yang exists, getting that Star Veil out. And I think with that, um, getting that Star Veil, all we've got to do is just get, get dragon killing, really. Yeah, we, no, no mine for the XP, just... Uh, gunning it, uh, which we've got the levels, uh, there's no need to assume to heal. Beautifully done. And that wyvern melts, and that'll complete objective number two. Yes. And and we get that foo up so we can start casting warp because nobody really wants to walk out of the sealed cave. Yeah, um, and then we're just gonna go drop off this pin and then take it home. That's sad, yeah. testing the exit. No, sorry. Yep, unfortunately, due to story reasons, we just can't exit out of here. Uh, oh no, we've got a cutscene. We've got to show the character getting mind controlled again. Even though a lot of us just picked up the key item from... <laughs> from the dwarf castle. I never knew you could do that as a kid. Here Neither I was I. playing the whole game like some kind of sucker. Yeah, I did also did not, and the evil doors, I hated them so very much. Oh gosh, I was terrified of them as a kid. Like, I... And I'd been told about them in advance by, like, by our siblings who, did, uh, who just said that there were these trapdoors. 
but didn't say which dungeon they were in exactly. So there I was going through Magnus, and people were like, oh, is there trapdoors? And I'm like, trapdoors? What? And it's like, so they were all built, built up to me, and then just this horrible jump scare. I... Well, and you have to fight so many of them to get through. Yeah, and there's the random encounters. You can't throw those off. But there's the crystal, and BG Rich is on his way to go and take out um, that butt with lots of hearts. I like a butt with lots of hearts. Everything's nicer with hearts. And get that Zeus gauntlet. Yeah, unfortunately, Edward cannot use the Zeus gauntlet um, because he's dainty and has princely hands. No. Well, a crystal ring is fine instead. I mean, I wonder if what kind of crystal it is, or if it's actually like, like a super diamond. That's an interesting question. It is. It's interesting too if you know that uh, adamant um, is poetically like a synonym for diamond. And yes, as Scala helpfully reminds out, uh, we do we do know that, that this is the case here. That's why we've got all the diamonds in our uh, little uh, background here. I didn't know that. Yeah, it's. I want to say it's semi obscure that you would that because oh, where did I pick that up from in the first place? Um... <laughs> There's a 99% chance that Scala probably said that, and it didn't have numbers in it, really, so I just... Whoosh! You pay attention when she says things that have numbers in them? Nah, I just remember numbers better than uh, literally anything else. Oh, that's fair. But we've got a little bit of a different composition here. Um, we do have a healer. Rydia is not our healer for this, which is a good thing. Yeah, um, don't like uh, having Rydia heal. Which is weird for somebody who is like, I, I will say, you know, play the odds. The odds will be good for you on average. Don't like so. Hate Asura. Um, we will see how many of these Big Bangs get nerfed, because Eddie really doesn't have a lot of HP at this level. I think the question we are a bit more asking, I think, is how many Big Bangs do we expect to see total? Because at 1277 hit points in Adamant Armor, he will probably survive the nerf Big Bang. An absolute high roll, I think, can still take him, uh, but not. Uh, it's not likely. Um, the question is, uh, are we expecting to see a second Big Bang, and are we expecting to still need an Eddie after a potential second Big Bang, or would the other two be able to do enough to bring it, to, to just bring the fight home? That's true. We've got a double cat claw, Zeus gauntlet, Yang, and a one dragon sword, or one Hanzo seal sword, uh, Edge. Uh, so I the Eddie not... might, the Eddie might be superfluous. I don't know about superfluous. Like he's still gonna do a ton of work by the time he's up, but we don't. Like we would like him alive during the fight. We don't know that we need him to survive the fight. Well, uh, speaking of surviving the fight, that is a mop on the floor. 
Yes, that is. And I'm just waiting for the big bang to go out before bringing him back up. But everyone else survives. No high roll big bang on that Edward. Yeah, and uh, the, the thing too uh, is because he is an adamant, that does also lower the cap in terms of just the ad on how high a high roll is gonna be. So yeah, he's usually fine. Getting that zerk off on that edge. And cure four cups out. Um, yeah, this is controller's down, I think. Even Yang doing 4k damage. You love to see it. Yeah, like, that's the thing. Like, if you get a Yang, uh... in your first two slots, like, in your opener or on hubs, uh, at that point, just take him through the whole game. He will... he's plenty fun. Uh, later than that, I'm not too thrilled with it, but he's perfectly okay. Or if you're in a different uh, seed set or flag set where you can do a grind. Yeah. Um, a demishing grind, because he is a mage. Yeah. Like, he, uh, he, he's a mage who doesn't provoke spell counters, which is even better than a mage. But we did see a shake from Zeromas. I don't know what that means. But it must be, uh, important. Yeah, no, we juggled them. We're, uh, very nicely done. And there's our celebration rocks. And... One more hit. There we go! Spoon to the face! GG, BG Rich. We're gonna 2, 23, 32. And we'll see if we can't get him in for an interview. Uh, should be along shortly, I hope. But while we wait for BG Rich, um, again, just want to shout out our behind-the-scenes staff. Scala Kitty restreaming, Ikear doing the button pushing, there was a lot of it this seed. Um, and of course, my co-commentator, Neon Gray, it is always a pleasure. Yes, and thank you, Alicel. Uh, again, uh, always love getting in the booth with you. Uh, a good time will be had by all, whenever I know that, uh, whenever you're around. Well, we try. We have our love of cats together. Yes. Oh, it's a good baby kitty. It's your kitty. She is currently getting uh, kitty treats from Daddy. Oh, That's so good. But with that bading, we are joined by BG Rich. GG's to you. GG. Uh, how's everything going? We're going good. How about you? How was the seed? It wasn't bad. I definitely played that pretty sloppily. So that's uh, the time differential definitely got outplayed big time. Some stuff to obviously to have to clean up. I think the initial routing, probably a good 10 minutes just not being decisive with the item checks and stuff. And then those wipes and then being stubborn and not not abandoning the, the spots that were too difficult. That definitely dug myself a nice hole that I couldn't climb out of. <laughs> Yeah, like I, I do think, yeah, like overcommitting on uh, on a couple of those checks, I think really, uh, really did bite you a bit. Uh, but that's one of those things where you know, you know, you do it. So just try, try to not. Right. Definitely. Uh, well, and you've still got a few more matches. Uh, is this your first match? Uh, yes, this was my first one. So some time to clean it up for tomorrow and then next week oh, yeah. well and you just gotta shake off the dust a little bit now that tournament season started definitely yeah it's yeah. been it's been a bit so uh, yeah, who are you gonna be enjoying... facing tomorrow oh sorry 
Yep, I'll be playing uh, playing a match tomorrow, so I have some more time to uh, to, to get the rust off. Yeah, uh, who's the uh, lucky opponent? I'll be playing against Simbu, so uh, definitely another just got to come ready. Oh, <laughs> I mean, both you and Lady, oh, oh, both you and Lady in uh, up against uh, Simbu for your next races. Uh, good luck. <laughs> Yeah, thanks. Yeah, it's, it's uh, definitely a competitive uh, competitive bracket. I think everyone can say that for theirs, too. It's just that I think the, pl the playing field has gotten really good. A lot of people have gotten good at this rando and uh, randomizer, and really just it, it's great to see that how much this just keeps growing every year. Yeah, it is It is absolutely great, and uh, we have a ton of fantastic racers, and, you know, uh, I've... Uh, already been watching a bunch of races and I've just been super impressed with the level of play that I've been seeing people bringing. Certainly. It's, uh, I, I got to tune in for maybe a couple matches and just trying to pick up strategies where I can clean some things up because, again, I, I've noticed that some of the people with really good times, like, they're only opening, like, 50 treasure chests and stuff, and it's, like, keeping at that lower number. I was at, like, 90-something, so definitely have to clean that up. Oh yeah, uh, I I feel you there. Just, but there's stuff inside the treasure chest. Like you could be better. Yeah, <laughs> right. <laughs> there really wasn't stuff inside those treasure chests today. Um, yeah, it was really not wasn't. giving you gear. Yeah, I think the, the the saving grace was getting Edward with the spoon and getting getting foo. That, that at least gave me a chance to not suffer the rest of the seed but yeah trying to ride with uh edge and yang and ridia and rosa that was not um not a party that i'm used to running as a four uh, four person team so that was definitely a learning experience yeah uh yeah that foo was a really nice find at the end just because uh you know the the ridia had been great so far but uh you know just uh trading her off at the end yeah, that makes perfect sense and a great find there. Definitely. Um, but was there anything that kind of stood out to you in that seed that you wanted to bring up or discuss? I think it was pretty entertaining getting Wyvern at Sealed Cave. I haven't seen that for a while, and I know that that's always just, it's always an interesting challenge, and I think more the reason that I got sucked right into it and then trying to get it the first or second try not really recognizing that it's just it was just too i was too overmatched to even try that one i should have just abandoned that but that was it was it's fun to get those challenging ones like i would say also wyvern at odin is a fun spot like we're not so much fun because it's easy but fun because it's hard and it's kind of cool to see it through and being able to beat that spot yeah well and it's kind of like a puzzle you know especially with agility you know okay what pieces have to fall into place to make this work yeah, I know I safety saved too in case if it wasn't working with the high level people, I was going to go pick up somebody that was level one or level 10 or whatever and come back at the, even at the end there when I had leveled up. So, uh, yeah, definitely that agility anchor strategy is is important to keep in mind. Yeah, well, it's, just, it's, it's a rough fight, but yeah, it feels good when you get through it. Absolutely. Uh, yeah, uh, on that successful run, yeah, you did, you, you made it look easy. <laughs> Took too many tries, but yeah, it was, it was, it was fun though. I think that's the most important thing. Just got to enjoy it and, uh, win or lose, gotta, gotta have fun and it's always cool to be a part of this. Um, Neon, did you have anything else? I think uh, that pretty much covers it, so I think we're good to go on that. But it's great to see you back. I know you took a little bit of a break, so we're excited to see uh, kind of how you're going to do. Oh, thanks. Thanks. Yeah, GG's to to Lady and to everybody else that's been playing. Uh, keep, keep it the uh, fun, and uh, we'll see how it all shakes out for everybody. Have a good night, or a good day, or a good afternoon, depending on where you're at. Thanks so much. You take care. You too. Bye-bye now. Ah, goodbye and GG. But with that, I do believe we are at the end of our broadcast, unfortunately. 
Yeah, um, sadly, all seeds must come to an end, and uh, we have seen this uh, capably and <laughs> Oh, sorry about that. Very nicely run by BG Rich and Lady Id. So, uh, but this is far from the end of Free Enterprise for the evening. Uh, we are going to be going to Free Enterprise 2, where Kyrios is facing off against Arusta. That should be a great match. Uh, two pink puffs um, in the latest season, so uh, definitely go watch them. Uh, do not spoil the results of this race, but um, just tell them it's a great one and they need to watch it back. Yeah, uh, yeah exciting stuff. Um, I've been uh, Neo Gray. Uh, with me has been Alice L. Uh, have a great evening, everyone. Y'all have a great night.